Uh, this is Sergio with rhinofablab.com and uh, we are going to continue our tutorial here. Now that I have the, the shoe last uh, ready to go, I'm going to use it as a reference uh, to model a shoe sole uh, for kind of like a sports shoe. So uh, starting over here on the front view where I can see the side of, my, of the shoe, I'm going to draw uh, an interpolate point curve, maybe Maybe starting over here and with whatever shape you know I want the, the sole to have. So maybe I'll disable the snaps for now. Maybe a little higher little part over here and then strains out and a little bit higher back here. There we go. Now I can always uh, show control points and work on that if I want to, but so maybe this there, maybe this one here, I can move on over here, you know, work with these uh, points. There we go, something like this. Once you're happy with the curve, uh, I'm gonna turn the points back off. So here we go. Now I'm going to project that curve onto the surface. So I'm going to come over here to project the surface. Pick the curve, enter, pick the surface, enter. And now I have that curve projected onto the shoe last. Now I need to define uh, the curve that's going to be the bottom. Of the, of the sole. So here we go again with another interpolate and maybe this one starts here like so. Then we got the straight part over here and a little bit of a lift here and then the, the heel and a little rise over here. Something like so. I'm going to again use control points because I have to do some major fixing over here because these guys and these guys you know need to be leveled so I'm going to use our uh, set points command I'm going to go here to set XYZ and I'm going to choose the Z axis and set those points like so and uh, I might need to work on these, uh, so maybe that one can go back a little bit up. There we go. Something like so. And uh, don't need the points anymore there. So now I have the top edge that meets up over here. Then I have this. Now I can, I'm going to go ahead and hide the, the last. So I'm going to use the hide option over here. At this point now I am going to go to top view. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to go to transform and use the command project to C plane to construction plane. Uh, when it asks me to delete the inputs, I will say no. And what I have right now is I have a flat version of this same curve right there on the command line, on the construction plane, I should say, I'm sorry. So now I'm going to take uh, that curve and I need to do two offsets. One offset towards the inside. So uh, curve tools. Offset. I'm going to offset that by like 0.7 towards the inside. And I'm going to offset that curve also towards the outside. And maybe, maybe towards the outside, 0.2. So 0.5 to the inside, 0.7, sorry, and 0.2 to the, to the outside. 
and I will now use uh, curve from two views. So here we go, curve from two views. And I'm going to choose this one and this one. Then I'm going to use curve from two views actually before. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So let me see the control points here. Uh, looks like I have a little bit of a mess here, so let me let me re rebuild that curve. Maybe 20 and 3. Yeah, that looks better. I click OK. And now I'm going to do some adjustments here to form the shape that I want on the inside of the last of the sole. There we go. And uh, looks like the in set is around here so that's where we're going to go in a little bit this way and in over here I'm going to do some adjustments there I'm happy with what it looks like right now uh, so I'm going to turn the points back off and now I'm going to also do curve from two views that curve and this curve. And now that I have those, uh, I'm going to get rid of the originals, which are these flat ones. Make sure I get the right curves over here and that one. And there I have the, you know, the three shapes. This one I don't need anymore. Now I can uh, work with this to create my, my form. So I can come over here and I'm going to do a conic. Which is going to, let me use my snaps. Uh, near snap and I'm going to snap here and I'm going to snap here and then take a look over here in in my view over here and make it give it the shape that I want so it may be going to be something like so something like that same thing in the back. I'm going to start there to here. And then something like so. Let me do this one one more time. Make sure I get it here to here. There we go. And now I also need to place one, which is going to be maybe right here, right where the heel ends. From there to there. Looks like I got the wrong curve. So from there to up here, right here. And this is going to be something like so. And the same thing on the opposite side. At this point, this, this curve here, I can get rid of that. So that it doesn't confuse me. And I can go ahead and do one more conic. And this will go from here to there. Right here. right there. So right now we have the top edge, we got this and we got these guys. I'm going to, now we go to, now that I have these curves, I'm going to go to sweep two rails. First rail, second rail, and the cross sections. Enter. 
and I need to tell it to do a close sweep preview and here on top view I'm going to add some shapes so maybe a slash here and maybe one here and that, that's going to give me better control of the direction of these uh, isocurves maybe what's happening, let me take this off, there we go right there and maybe right here uh, that's good enough. So I'm going to hit enter and then hit OK. Now here's my surface. 